rare historical images you have not seen before. An immigration inspector found a 180 centimeter Felipe Ramirez Perez, who had attempted to enter the United States this way. San Diego, March 11, 1954. Border guard dogs lined up for lunch with bowls in their teeth. Discipline, 1930s. A woman hits a passing Nazi skinhead with her purse during a demonstration by Nordic Reich supporters. German submarine sunk because of a faulty toilet. In April 1945, a German submarine approached the coast of Scotland, preparing to attack the British convoy. The submarine, however, began to go awry. First the engine failed, then the toilet broke. First the engine malfunctioned, then the toilet broke. The mechanic began to fix the engine, but the second repairman, who was sent to the rebellious toilet, could not cope with it and the submarine began to flood with Nazi sewage and Scottish water rather quickly. The jet was so powerful that the many valves that controlled the toilet bowl could not be approached. Schlitt gave the order to surface. The submarine, which emerged from the water, was spotted by British bombers. So the toilet sent the Nazi submarine to the bottom, and the crew survived and were picked up by a British destroyer. Chinese and Malay girls forcibly removed by the Japanese to work as comfort girls. 1939-1945. In 1993, the UN Global Tribunal for Human Rights Violations estimated that 90% of the comfort women died before 1947. Catherine Schweitzer at the legendary Boston Marathon, Massachusetts, USA, 1967. In 1967, athlete Catherine Schweitzer became the first woman to take part in a marathon. The organizers of the Boston Marathon tried to kick Catherine out right during the race, but the athlete did not let herself be hurt. But Catherine did not find it necessary to disguise her appearance and that is why she immediately attracted the attention of the audience and the anger of the organizers. Unfortunately, she didn't finish the race first, but she proved that women can run 42 kilometer distance. The Fijian chief, Udre Udre, was the most voracious cannibal in the world. He ate nothing but human flesh and ate no less than 872 people in his lifetime. At the beginning of the 20th century, you could send a baby in the mail. At the beginning of the 20th century in the United States, you could send a child by mail, and no one would think of calling you bad parents. In 1913, the state post office used a trump card against private companies. It announced that from now on, it would deliver large parcels all over the country and for cheap. The plan was right, but this reform had an unintended consequence. Americans began to send children by mail. It was cheaper than train tickets, and trust in letter carriers was very high at the time. A medieval device against women's chatter, the Scold's Bridle. Scold's Bridle is an object invented in the 1500s in Britain, and then spread throughout Europe. An iron mask, tightly fitting the head, was put on women as a punishment for rude chatter and arguments. It was impossible to speak while wearing it. A bell was attached to the top to attract attention. A prisoner at Sing Sing Prison in the United States is subjected to Chinese water torture, 1860. The torture consists in tying a man so that he cannot move or move his head, and in complete darkness, water is slowly dripped on his forehead, a drop a minute or so. Usually two O-liters were enough to make a person either confess to everything or go insane. Pasquale Pignon with a second head. Pignon is known as the two-headed Mexican. The man first worked as a railroad worker and then became a member of the Cells Floto Circus in the early 20th century. In fact, Pinon had no second head. It was a huge tumor on his forehead on which a wax fake face was affixed. Deception is deceitful, but the foreign growth was really unnaturally large and frightening. 